Hey folks, welcome back. So I'm back in the workshop for the summer holidays and so it's back to making projects. So I hope you all enjoyed watching the last video which I posted on the main channel of the stacked ring lamination bowl which I made out of cherry and maple. Now that was actually a really fun project to make. It actually took a lot longer than it seemed like in the video there was a lot of separate stages of gluing to do as well as the turning which was involved so i intend to do another video on this subject fairly soon where i cover some of the more technical aspects involved in making these sorts of bowls but for now i just thought i would cover some of the questions which were raised in the comments i always do my best to try and answer people's comments but uh, I thought I would also do a quick little blog on uh, just going through some of them. So if you watch that video you'll know that whilst I was turning the bowl actually broke on me and now it's not actually that uncommon for these bowls to break a bit when turning but it was of course a little bit disappointing when it happened but given that this was my first attempt at one of these bowls I wasn't too surprised. Now I didn't want to hide the fact that I'd made a mistake even though it sort of interrupted the general flow of the video and I think most of you appreciated the fact that I did include it it shows that it happens to all of us but one of the questions which was raised a lot was why I didn't just glue back the broken piece into place it did appear in the video that the broken piece would have fitted it back into place quite well but when I sort of looked into doing that there was just too much splintering and a few missing pieces for that to have worked well and so although it potentially could have worked it as I said in the video it would have left sort of quite a scar and uh, it just overall it looks better by just removing that top ring entirely when I was making the project I did film a little bit about why the broken piece wouldn't have fitted back into place but when it came to editing the video altogether it just I'd, I'd already interrupted the video enough with sort of me chatting and so I wanted to carry on things moving again so I sort of removed that bit in the end a lot of you asked what the angle was that I cut the rings at and to be honest I couldn't tell you exactly but if I had to guess it was about 55 degrees. I actually stuck a secondary table onto the bandsaw so that with the table tilted to its maximum 45 degrees I could just get a little bit of an extra angle and that sort of flattened out the bowl a little bit if you can see that there. If I'd used just the 45, it would the sides would have been a bit steeper. So when I was cutting the concentric rings, I did them all at the same angle, and that meant that the sides were quite straight when I'd finished turning. But if you don't want to have that sort of thing, you can make it so that the bowl is slightly curved by cutting each ring slightly different. One thing you do have to bear in mind though is that because the rings would no longer stack on top of each other perfectly like when I did it, you end up with a much thinner wall thickness to contend with. And that just means that any misalignment which you might have, you don't have all that much room to turn it out. On that note, you don't actually have to turn it on the lathe. Because the bowl ends up being almost round when you finish gluing everything together, You all you really have to do is to smooth out all the joins. And so this actually makes it a great project for people who don't have a lathe but still want to make bowls. One of the other things that was inevitably pointed out in my video was the fact that in a couple of my turning scenes, I was wearing gloves. Now, I don't make a habit of wearing gloves normally, but if I'm finding the bits are chipping into my hand and it's causing me some discomfort, generally I'm probably willing to take that risk. I know a lot of people really don't like seeing that, but I was wearing gloves and I mean, I could have left out those scenes really and I pro probably should have done and it would have avoided upsetting some people. So I turned 19 back on the 29th of June and although I'm still way too young to start feeling old yet, it really has been quite frightening the way the last year has just flown by. I mean, I can't believe it's more than a year since I turned 18, but well... <laughs> Just a quick little look at something which I'm working on at the moment. I'm hoping to get this up on Friday or at least by the end of the weekend depending on how 
well it goes I mean it's gone well so far but I've still got sort of the hinges and everything to attach but so far I'm pretty happy with what are clearly some wooden sunglasses you might have heard of Steve Carmichael he's another internet woodworker and he actually did a video on making wooden sunglasses a few weeks ago it was about the sort of time when I had just started working on these ones so his way of making them is actually probably far more elegant than my own but I'm actually quite happy with the way these are going so far. Have a lovely week everyone, I'll see you next time, bye bye.